Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. How are you today, class? It's a pleasure. Welcome. Welcome to the class. This class is class number 12, right? Class number 12. Okay. We are doing good, right? Lo estamos haciendo bien. Congratulations, right? Now, we're going to start with the with the class. Uh, Freddy, do me a favor. Can you copy your full name, please? Freddy? Freddy Eli Vasquez, de la O. Ah, no, de la O, no. Okay, okay teacher. Please, your full name, morning. right? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And please, your cameras, cameras on. Eh, I want to see you, right? Please. Okay, now. Oh, Jessica Perez. Uh, okay, I understand, Jessica. No problem. Okay, wait a minute. Jessica Perez. I will copy, Jessica, no problem. Good. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now, I will share the presentation for tonight. Good. Ah, it says 18, right? I don't know why it says 18. No, but it's 19. Sorry, let me make the correction, right? Today is not 18. Today is 19, right? The 19. Okay. Good. Now, English for work. Welcome to the English for work program, right? Inglo English Corporativo, sorry. English Corporativo, the teacher Javier Gomez, right? And Isa Ford say welcome to you. This is class number 12. And is how to use the simple present information question. We're going to continue talking about the information question, right? Okay. Um, now this is the objective for tonight's class, right? William, can you read the objective for tonight, please? William? La presentación no me sale. Ah, ok. Sorry. I will say this in Spanish. Eh, a veces el, en Zoom hay un error que cuando uno está presentando PowerPoint, la lámina anterior queda como, como congelada. Así que se lo voy a dejar de compartir y compartir otra vez para que le salga, William. Sorry, excuse me. Va a disculpar. Pero ese error de, de Zoom. Okay. Now, William, y ahora sí está el objetivo, William? Yes. yes. Yes, okay, good. Sorry, sorry for I say I'm sorry for Zoom. <laughs> okay, read, please, read. Where do you work? Ask question about the summit with this and at the workplace. Okay. Duties. Duties are obligation, right? What obligations you have in your company? What are your obligations? This is the, the, the idea, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to start with a conversation. Kevin. Kevin, say hello, Kevin. What do you have to do on Thursday? And Albert said, Say, I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? And because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is a what is it about? What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do? 
that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, now repeat after me, please. Are you ready? Repeat. No se ve la conversación, el diálogo. No se ve el diálogo. My goodness, what happened with Zoom? ¿Qué le está pasando a Zoom? Give me a second. Vamos a compartir y volver a compartir. And now? Yes. Yes, okay. Sorry, I want to try. Voy a probar porque eh, necesito hacer una función acá y ustedes me dicen si se ve o no se ve. Ok. ¿Se ve la conversación? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, good. Pensé que me iba a estar fallando toda la clase, pero no, estamos bien. Ok. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product. and write a report about it. Why? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What? Is it about? What 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 does Mr. Reese have to do that day? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, I'm not so sure. I'm, I'm. No so sure. What time does he finish? What time does he finish to work on Thursday? What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he fin sorry, when does he have free time? When does he have 
free time. Okay, now you can see the conversation in the moment. I will take the attendance. Please say present. Uh, Elsa? Present. Oh, sorry. Okay, but uh, I guess you cannot participate, right, Elsa? La, la voy a poner de oyente, Elsa, porque no voy a hacer que nos arruine más de la gargantita ahí, ¿verdad? Okay. Eh, Jessica, Carolina. Present, teacher. Oh, welcome. ¿Todo bien, Jessica? Sí. Yes. Ah, okay, bien, okay. Es que ayer como que no pudo conectarse, ¿verdad? Yes, okay, pero qué bueno que ya está aquí de nuevo. Jessica Araceli. Present. Okay, welcome. Welcome. And uh, Estenia? Estenia? Freddy? Present. Thank you. Kenya? Present. Gracias, María. Present. Delia? Present, teacher. Ada. Bueno, Ada estaba mal de salud ayer. Creo que otra vez no va a poder conectarse. Sorry. Veamos si está por ahí, el de oyente, aunque sea. No, verdad no está. Bueno, esperamos que se mejore pronto. Ok, good. Continue. Eh, Jonathan. Present, teacher. Thank you. René Alexi. Present teacher. Brenda. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ingrid y Jessica Pérez, ya les tomé, el, <coughs> sorry, ya les tomé la asistencia. Ok, uh, van a estar de oyentes. José Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda Lynn. Parece que Brenda Lee me mandó un mensaje también. Quiero ver. Ajá. Teacher, uh, estaré de oyente. Ok, very good. Brenda Lee va a estar de oyente. Ya le tomamos la, la asistencia, Brenda Lee. Y luego. Um, ok, very good. Ya, ya puso presente aquí. Excelente, Jessica. Now, eh. María René. Present. Thank you. Evelyn. Evelyn, ¿está en clase? Bien raro, porque ayer Evelyn tuvo problemas para entrar y ahora creo que otra vez. Buenas noches. Hey, hello, sí, tengo Evelyn. Manos, pero buenas noches, con el hello. teléfono. Se me, ah. me vuelve loca la pantalla. Oh, sorry, but today you're, you're okay. Eh, eh, sí. Ok, good. En unos 15 minutos estoy lista. Ok, la voy a poner de oyente. Me avisa cuando esté lista. Ok. okay. Will, William. Ok, thank you. And Erenia. Thank you very much. We are ready. Now, for the last time, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What is it about? 
What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, class. Now let's let's start practicing the conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica Carolina and Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina, you're Kevin. Jessica Araceli, you're Albert. Okay, ready? One, ready. two, three, action. What do you do have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is what's it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Congratulations. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue, right? Now, uh, we have Freddy and Kenya, please. Freddy, you're Kevin, and Kenya, you're Albert. Are you ready? Action. What do you have to do on today? I just checked. Ya termino, Freddy. Es que no escucho bien. Freddy, can you check your microphone? Casi no se le escucha, Freddy. No sé si, si tiene... Ah, okay. oh, no, yes, yes. Ahora sí. Ok, again. Anterior... What do you have to do on Thursday? I uh, just check the production for the new products and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he fin finish to work on Tuesday? Or when does he have free time? Okie dokie, thank you very much, right? Now, remember this word, right, is link. Is link. He said about it. About it. And write a report about it. No? Okay. And this question is difficult to pronounce. But in the case of Kenya, you pronounce very well. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sorry. What is it? What is What is What is What is What is it? What is it? You don't say what, but what? 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 What is it? What is it about? Okay. Good. Now, let's continue practicing. Okay, so we have Gracia Maria and Delia. Please, Gracia Maria, you're Kevin. And Delia, you're Albert. Are you ready, girls? One, two, three, action. What do you, what do, you do have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new products and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me. Move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reese 
have to do that day? Mm, I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Okay, I like it. I like your conversation, right? And now look at this. Uh, what is it? You have to say it, right? What is it? What is it about? What is it about? Uh, but if you omit it, notice the sound, right? What What is about? What is about? No. No correct, right? So it's what is it? What is it? What is it about? Good. And then uh, the pronunciation of the M in English is very uh, intonated. So you have to close your lips and say, mm, mm, mm. You say, I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm not. I'm not a student. I'm not Superman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Madridista. <laughs> I am Barcelonista. <laughs> Okay, you see, I'm, I'm, mm, 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 I'm, thank you. Now, the next students, uh, we have um, Jonathan and Rene Alexi. Ready, boys? Jota Jonathan, you're going to be Kevin, and Freddy Alexi, Albert. <clears throat> what do you have? To do on Thursdays, and hot set the product production for the main product and write and report. Uh, about it, about it, Queen. Why? Okay. Uh, Why? Sorry, sorry for the interruption. Sorry. Right. Uh, Daniel Alexin. Uh -huh. Again. Yes, teacher. I just. I just. Check the production. Check the production. For the new product. For the new product. And write a report. And write a report. About it. About it. Why? Why? Continue, Jonathan. Because um, I, I knew I someone. Need, I, need, I need. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes can you do me a favor so what is it about oh what does mr Reese? how how do how do do to what do? I? to do to do to do what to do that die I not to so, so, so. sure 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 so, so. sure what time does he finish to work on Tuesday or when when does he have free time Congratulations, right? Now, look at this. Time. This is an M, right? So you have to close your lips and say, mm, mm, time. I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm, time. What time? Hmm? Look at the difference between the pronunciation, right? With N, time, time. No, it's time. Mm, right? Okay, thank you very much. Rene Alexi and Jonathan, congratulations. Now, let's continue. Who's next? Uh, Brenda, ready? And Brenda and Jose Atilio, right? Brenda, you're Kevin. And Jose Atilio, you're Albert. Are you ready? One, two, three. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for 
the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I know such so sort. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you, thank you. Listen, right? Thurs Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. I'm not so sure. I'm I'm not so sure. What is it about? What is it? What is it? What is it about? What is it about? Okay. Now, next couple, right? Thank you, Jose Tilio. And thank you very much, Brenda. Now, uh, Maria Rene and William, please. Maria Rene, you're Kevin. William, you're Albert. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three. What do you do have to do on Thursday? I just check the products for the new products and write a report about, about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Miss, Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? And not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you very much. Eh, René, you're, I, I heard you're kind of sick, right? Soy, soy un poquito mala de la garganta, René. ¿Todo está bien? Es que tengo gripe. Oh, sorry. Y me ha dado así tos. Oh, sorry. Mucho, pero, pero, ahorita, pero sí puede participar. Sí puede participar. <risa> sí, solo. Ah. Solo que mm. le vamos a tener ahí paciencia, no se preocupe, tranquilito. <risa> okay. No es fuerza la voz, no es fuerza la voz. Ahí mire, Elsa quiso esforzar la voz, pero ya le dijimos, no, que se calme, que se recupere, y después solo a ella le vamos a dar las conversaciones. <risa> okay. ok, que mejore, René, que se mejore. Ok, ahí en su limonada bien cargada ahí, ¿no? O una sopita. ¿no? Ok, continue, please. Eh, un, Erenia, please. ¿Alguien me faltó? Aparte de Erenia. No, pues le vamos a ayudar a Erenia. Erenia, Erenia what do you want, Kevin o Albert? Cualquiera. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're Albert. You're Albert. I am going to be Kevin. Kevin. So, hey, Albert, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Oh, that's okay. That's okay, Albert. Listen, this is because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Uh, can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? Uh, what does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. And what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Uh, or when does he have free time? Okay, very good. Congratulations to everybody for this conversation. Now, notice the use of information question. Pay attention, please. Is what do you have to do? On Thursday, right? This is information question. What is it about? And what does Mr. Reese have to do that day? What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Oopsie, I'm sorry. On Thursday, hasta abajo lo puse. Okay, oh, when does he have free time? Oh, ahí soy yo una vocecita, Jessica Carolina. Ok, nice. Se oye el, el bebé ahí al, al fondo, ¿verdad? Ok, 
Very good. Tráigalo cuando pueda, que escuche la clase. Oigan, le vamos a poner a Dudley. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you have to do on Thursday? What does Mr. Reed have to do that day? What time does he finish to work? And when does he have free time? Notice here, right, that first we have the information question word. The information question word. That is what? 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 Oh, include what time too, right? Teacher. And when? Uh, yes? And what is about? Uh, well, this is with verb to be. Es que no lo incluyo porque ahí usan el verbo to be, ¿no? No quiero confundirlo, ¿verdad? Mezclar el verbo to be con el do y el das. Así que vamos a... Por esta vez lo vamos a ignorar. <risa> ok, sorry, sorry. Yes. Sí, sí, pero también eh, es una pregunta de información. También es una pregunta de información. Ok. Now, later we have the... The auxiliary, right? Ok, give me a second here. Permítame que no puedo, no puedo encerrarlo porque tengo aquí una opción. Ok, here. Ok, do, right? Do. Ok. Do. And in the next question, we say does. Then does. And does too, right? You see? Auxiliary. And finally, we have we have the subject, right? The subject in this case, in the first one is you. You. And the next one is Mr. Reese. Then in the next one is he. And he, right? Okay, so this is the use of the information question, but it's missing one, right? Todavía no falta una. Todavía no falta una, okay? Uh, okay, give me a second. Good. We miss one, right? Todavía no falta una. Vamos a encerrarla aquí en, en un ROM para que se entienda. Eh, we have... Más o menos ahí. <laughs> Sorry. Estamos inventando aquí. Eh, have... Finish... And have, right? Okay? So... We have four elements. Number one, what, when, why, how, where, etc., etc. Number two, auxiliary do or does. Do is with you, I, we, and they. And also does. Does is for he, she, and it, right? Then we have the subject, he, uh, Mr. Reese, Pedro, Maria, Juan, Firulai, Misifus, etc., etc., right? Any subject. And then we have a verb, have, finish, go, eat, drive, run, copy, listen, sleep, etc., etc., any action, right? So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four elements. One, two, three, four. One. In all the questions, we have one, two, three, four, right? Okay, now let's go to the next exercise. Look, information question, we say that before, right? Uh, are different from yes, no question. In the yes, no question, we have yes or no, right? But in this case, uh, the WH words here, we use uh, specific information, right? Así como lo veíamos ayer. Specific information. For example, when we say what, acerca de algo, what, where, donde, when, cuando, why, por qué, which, cuál, how, cómo, who's, de quién, whom, a quién, and who, quién, right? 
Again, what for things? Who is for people? Where is for place? When is for time? Tick tac, tick tac, tick tac. Whose is for possession? The quien, right? Why is for reason? Por qué? Which is for choice or option? Cual? Cual des? Whom is for people? As an object, right? And how is for manner or form? Manera o forma, right? Good. Esto ya lo vimos ayer, pero vamos a, a ver algunos. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Usted me preguntaba aquí. Where are they from? And what is your name, lady? So those are examples with verb to be. Pero ahorita estamos focalizándonos con el presente simple, no con el verbo to be. Así que, listen. WS word, one. Auxiliary do and does, two. Subject, three. And verb, four. What does he do on vacation? What is the WS word? Does is the auxiliary? He is the subject and do is the verb. And the complement, that is not important. Also, when do you play football? When do you play? When do you play? Okay? Four elements. Good. Any question? Class, do you have questions? No questions? Okie dokie. Now let's continue, right? Here we have the question using do. What do I do? Where do you work? When do we go to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? What time do you take breakfast? And then you answer, right? I supervise, I work, we go, they investigate, and I take. When I say what, notice that I say, I supervise the production. Eso es lo que yo hago. I supervise. Where do you work? Uh, in the accountant department. Notice, here in this case, the accounting department is the place. El lugar, right? The place. And what is supervised? ¿Qué es lo que hago? Supervise. When? Ah, two times a week. Dos veces a la semana, right? And what time? Eight o'clock. Eight a.m., right? So these are the answers. Cuando pregunto qué, ¿qué es lo que haces? Ah, superviso. Eh, ¿Dónde, dónde trabaja? Ah, en el departamento de contaduría, right? ¿Cuándo? Ah, dos veces a la semana. ¿Cómo? Ah, me faltó el cómo. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer needs. Okay. ¿Cómo hacen el marketing? They investigate the customer needs. And finally, what time do you take breakfast? At 8 a.m., right? Okay. Now. When do you play football? What is the auxiliary? Do. But what about when I use does? Ah, does. What does she do? She visits. Where does he go? He goes to the company center. Company center. Which department does our boss supervise? Ah, he supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel? Miguel! Okay, what does Miguel, what, what time does Miguel start to work? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. So the question for what? The question for where? The question for which department in this case? And the, the answer for... Yeah, what time, right? Now, the answer is... Let me change the color here. Mm 
guardas ci do a ci visits where the company's headquarters which department the marketing department what time 9 a.m you see so according to the question because if, if i say uh, what time does miguel start to work uh, in the marketing department <laughs> no right because the question is about what time and where where does for example right where does erenia work she works in serpas y lope right what does she do what does she do you don't say what does she do uh, serpas y lopez no right what does she do she's an engineer right and she 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 works in san miguel right erenia in san miguel right san michael san michael city Aguila. Aguila. No, eh. Ah. En San Rafael Pedro. Ah, okay. Very good. It's next to Cojutepeque, right? Yes. Yes. Eh, Todavía venden ahí en San Rafael Cedro una sopita de apretador, Erenia. Que era buenísima, me acuerdo que fue una vez a un restaurante ahí. Eh, no, no sé. No, no. oh, okay. The apretador is, is a type of cangrejo, right? The apretador, sí, yes. Sí, pero no, no sé si venden. Oh, yes. Well, anyway. But there are many restaurants in San Rafael Cedro. Yes, you can, you can visit. You can visit San Rafael Cedro. Erenia, le estoy haciendo promoción, okay? You can visit San Rafael Cedro, please. <laughs> okay. Questions, class? Do you understand information questions? This is the more... The most complicated part of the simple present. Esta parte del presente simple es la más difícil. Así que, si hay preguntas, digan. Question, right? No questions? Okay, continue. Teacher. Yes, José Tirio. In the answer, existing rule for. Uh, no, all... no, no exactly. But uh, it works according to the logic. For example, if I say, what does she? I am I'm asking about she. So you're going to answer about she. No, about he or they or we, right? No. Or if I say where, it's about place, right? You don't say, where do you work? At, at seven o'clock. <laughs> no, right? No, because it, it's a logic. So the rule is, the same subject, el mismo sujeto, right? And the same question word. Y vamos a contestar lo que nos están preguntando. Si nos preguntan dónde, dónde. A qué hora, a qué hora. Con quién, con quién, right? So, eh, that is the only rule. But the rest, no. You can use preposition, adjectives, adverbs, expression, etc., etc., right? Puede usar lo que usted quiera para responder. Okay? But, um... Always start with subject. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, you know that, Jose Tilio, in the real world, it's not that you're going to use subject, verb, complement. No, 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 no. In the practice, it's not like that. In la práctica no es así. En la vida real no es así, Jose Tilio. Aquí porque estamos viéndolo como gramática, ¿no? No, entonces, sujeto, verbo, complemento. No, no. For example, uh, where do you work? In a company. Eh? You see? So I answer. Ya, ya contesté, no use sujeto, ni verbo, ni, no. Okay? So in the real world, it's not necessary. En la vida real no es necesario. Pero aquí en la gramática, pues, ni modo. Hay que seguir las reglas estrictas de la gramática. <laughs> okay, José Atilio? Understand? Yes, yes. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Now, any extra question, class? Any extra question? No? Okie dokie, so. Excellent also. Now, let's work here. Simple information question. What does he do on vacation? And here, we have examples using do and examples using does. 
Listen. What do you need? When you say, what do you need? No, at three o'clock. In Cojutepeque. No, no. What do you need is a blue tie. What do you need, teacher? I need a house in the beach and two million dollars. <laughs> okay. What do you need? <laughs> no, it says, uh, what do you need? A blue tie. What does she want? ¿Qué quiere ella? New bags. Okay, listen. This question never answered with no to a woman. Esta pregunta jamás, bajo ninguna circunstancia, puede ser contestada con un no por una chica, por una mujer, right? What do you, ¿Quieres carteras nuevas? ¿Quieres zapatos nuevos? <laughs> never, right? She, they never say no, right? Nunca dicen no, okay? <laughs> okay, continue, right? Now, why do they want that suit? Because it's new. ¿Por qué lo quiere? Porque está nuevo. Why does she like this tie? ¿Y a ella por qué le gusta el corbata? You know why? Because it's gray. What color do you want? Black. Oh, black. I don't like black, but well, black. What size does he need? Extra large. Notice, uh, uh, Jose Atilio, that in this question, for example, he says, what size does he need? You don't say, he needs extra large. No, no. Sometimes it's not necessary. You only say extra large. And finish, right? Okay. But uh, in the yes, no question, yes, it's necessary to say or yes or no. Do you need a black suit? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does she live in Cujucuyo? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does Serenia live in San Miguel? No, she doesn't. <laughs> she lives in, in San Rafael. Siempre decía San Miguel. No, San Rafael Cedro, right? Más cerquita. Ahí. Tenemos a Serenia. Okay, good. Let's continue. Which sweater? ¿Cuál de estos suéteres te gusta? Which sweater do you want? The green one. The green sweater, right? Not the green one is only one, eh? one singular. And which shoes does she like? The black ones. Shoes in general, right? Okay, now we are going to complete this question with do. <coughs> with do or with does, right? Okay, let's start participating. Um, Jessic, no, no, ya, ya participaron. Ah, yes. I want to start with Erenia. Erenia, do or does, Erenia? Do. Do, right? When do they go to the mall? Yes. When do they go to the mall? Excellent also, right? Number two. Um, William, please. What time? Do or does? Does. Okie dokie. What time does? What time does? Just give me a second. Yes. What time does she make dinner? Mm, I want now, right? Quiero ahorita porque ya, ya se hambre. <laughs> what time does she what time does she make dinner? Okay. Continue, please. Number three. How often do or does? Do. Eh, huh? Delia. Okay, Delia, thank you. Do, right? What time? Do. What time do? Oh. That's, that's, that's oh, your right. story. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. No lo sé, Rick. That's, the, that's your son play football. Yes. That's your son play football? Because we're talking about a, 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 a singular person, right? So we say does. What, how often does your son play football? ¿Con qué frecuencia? How often 
Does your son play football, right? Okay. Next one. This is for e Evel. Ah, no, Evelyn no está de oyente. Okay. María René. What time does or do? Does. Does. What time does your son come home? Very good. Now, number five, right? Uh, this is for, for Jose Atilio, please. Do. Do. Oh, sorry. How often do? How often do you clean your room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Good. Now, next one, right? Number six. What time? Um, Brenda, please. What time do or what time does, Brenda? Brenda? Hello, hello. Okay. Um, uh -huh. eh, do? When she. We use do or does? Does, does. does. Sorry. Okay. What time does she go to bed, right? What time does she go to bed? Nice. Okay, and let's go to number seven, right? Uh, Brenda Lee, please. When does your teacher uh, or when do your teacher? When do? When do. Okay, your teacher... Teacher Javier is singular or plural? Brenda Lee? Singular. Singular. So, do or does? When does? Does, correct. Cling. Okie dokie. When does your teacher check your homework? Yes. Okay. Let me see only that. Ah, number eight. Yes, to finish. Number eight. How often Francisco do the laundry, right? In this case, we have René Alexi, please. René Alexi. Das. Das. Correct. Das. Just give me a second here. Okay, does. How often does Francisco do the laundry, right? Okay, please. I need a uh, Jonathan. Can you read number one, two, three, and four? Jonathan. One, two, three, and four. Read, please, for the class. Read the question. When do they go to the mall? What time does she make dinner? How often does your son play football? Say how often? How often does does your son 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 play football? Continue, continue. Go what time forward. does your what time do does that? your Son, come home. Good, thank you. Now listen, time, time, right? Time. Okay, Ada, hello, Ada. Can you help me reading number five, six, seven, and eight, please, Ada? Okay. Uh, how, how often? How often do you clean your room? What that does? She go to be to, to bed, bed. Then. to bed when 
When does your teacher check your homework? 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 Homework. homework. How ten does Francisco do the laundry? Okay, thank you. Thank you, much, Ada. Un placer tenerla acá, ¿verdad? Que ya se ha mejorado. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, let's continue. Paramos, no, seguimos, sí, right. Okay. Okay, good. Now, in this exercise, we are going to complete with where. For example, your parents work. Where do your parents work? Now, notice that in this case, right, we use where. Oh, I want to change the color, right? So where auxiliary do ah where uh, do your parents because it's plural parents mother and father and the verb work so we have four elements four elements where do your parents work is information question word what where when who Auxiliary duo does subject and verb, right? That's it. Now we're going to create another question using the clues, right? Usando los. Palabras claves. Palabras claves. Okay. Now. Who's next? Who's next? Uh, Delia, right? Hello, Delia. Can you help me? Delia, Delia, 10-4, 10-4, Delia. Yeah. Um, sería, where, where, eh, no. No, 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 no. Mire ese teacher. <laughs> Where, where does where does Maria's brother go shopping? Excelentoso. Le sirvió la broma, ¿verdad? María. Sí. <laughs> Maria's brother. Go shopping. Where does Maria's brother go shopping? Okay, nice. Let's go to the next one, please. Her friends study English, right? Uh, this is for Gracia Maria. Help me, Gracia Maria. English. Mm. Where... Uh -huh. Where? Where friend? Okay, look and at this. Where, where does? Where, where. Uh, oh, yes, where does? Where does her friend study English? Study English, right? Where does her friend study English? Okay. Sorry, me quedo un poquito. Uh. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Estamos aquí. Okay, again. Where does her friend study English? That's it, right? Good. Thank you very much. Gracias, María. And now, uh, next is going to be Kenya. Are you ready, Kenya? Yes. You eat lunch. Where 
Do you eat lunch? Do you eat lunch? Where eat. do you eat lunch? Right? Where do you eat lunch? Good. And again, notice that we have where do you and eat, right? One, two, three, four, right? Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Next one, please. They listen to music, right? They listen to music. Number five. Uh, Freddy. Are you ready, Freddy? Yes, teacher. Uh, where do they listen to music? Where do they listen to music? Correct. Next one. This is for Estenia. Ya está en clase, Estenia. No. Oh, oh. Okay. So Jessica Araceli, please. Jessica Araceli, ready for this exercise? Ready. Okay. Where do Robert? Ah, excellent. Roberto. Where do Roberto and Eric exercise, or no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uh -huh. Exercise. Good, good. Yes, exercise. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Again, again. Where do Roberto and Eric exercise? Sorry, exercise. Yeah. Where do Roberto and Eric exercise? Uh huh, correct. Okay, now Jessica Carolino, number uh, seven, right? In this case, is his sister and work. Where does his sister work? Okay, give me a second, please. Demasiado. Rápido para mis técnicas de escribir. <laughs> Where does his sister work? His sister work. Where does his sister work? Okay, very good. Sorry, aquí tengo un mensaje. Uh, okay, Estenia dice. Okay, ya se va a conectar como oyente, Estenia. Okay. Bueno. Ya saben que le toca viajar a Guatemala, ¿verdad? Mucho trabajo. Ok. Where does his sister work? Ok. Nice. Nice, Jessica Carolina. Congratulations. Now, your brother do the laundry. This is for... Eh... Bueno, vamos a hacer una cosa. Elsa me escribe escrito para que no, no me esfuerce la voz. Eh, de la número 8, please. Que okay, se la vamos a dejar ahí a Elsa. And we go to number 9, right? Ah, no, ya no hay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Where does Maria's brother go shopping? Where does her friend study English? Where do you eat lunch? Where do they listen to music? Where do Roberto and Eric exercise? Where does his sister work? Okay, very good. Y ya vamos a esperar la última con, con Elsa, ¿verdad? Es por escrito. 
No queremos que nos enferme más, Celso. Así que, por escrito. <laughs> ok. Good. Now, but I, I want to remind you this, right? Quiero recordarles. I want to remind you this. That we have uh, four elements. Where does her friend study? So, you see, three, uh, four, sorry. Where do you eat? Where do they listen? Etc. Etc. Right? Let me see. Where does your brother do the laundry? Aha, uh -huh, correct. Thank you, Elsa. Now let's copy. Let's copy. Where does your brother do the laundry? Where does your brother do the laundry? Good. That's it, right? Any question, class? Questions, questions? No. Okie dokie. Now, question with who? Ah, this is very important, right? Who visits your uncle in La Unión? My father does. Who does your father visit in La Unión? My father visits my uncle. So my uncle is the other, right? Okay, class. This part is very difficult, right? Esta parte un poquito complicada. Así que vamos a prestar mucha atención. En lo que ustedes leen esto, voy a pasar el listado, okay? Good. So, eh, Elsa. Present. Thank you. Jessica Carolina. Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli. Present. Estenia. Present, teacher. Good. Can you participate, Estenia? Eh, se me complica un poquito, pero si puedo. No, 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 no. Relax, relax. No, no, no. No, no quiero Gracias. que se meten problemas ahí. Solo la voy a poner de oyente para mí. Al menos ya se conectó. Okay. Ya se... <laughs> sí, sorry. Okay. Thank no, you, no teacher. Problem. No problem. Thank okay. you. Ready? Mr. Vázquez Monterrosa. Teacher, voy manejando. Present. Good, good. That's it. Lo voy a poner de oyente. De oyente. Por favor. Please. Ok. Now. Kenia. Present. Gracias, María. Present. Delia. Present. Ada. Present. Jonathan. Present. René Alexi. Present. Brenda. Present. Ingrid. Present, teacher. Sigue de oyente, ¿verdad, Ingrid? No, teacher. Yo no... Ah, ya, ya puede partir. Ok, good, good. Ah, escondidito lo tenía Ingrid, vamos. <risa> ok, me alegra que ella pueda participar Ingrid. Ok, eh, Jessica Pérez. Bueno, Jessica le voy a poner la asistencia porque creo que no puede participar. Ella, yeah. escribió, ella escribió en el chat present teacher. Ah, good, thank you, thank you, pero sí sigue de oyente. Ok, good. Imagino que está trabajando. Good. José Atilio. Present. Brenda Lee. Present. ¿Ya puede participar o sigue de oyente, de oyente Brenda Lee? Ya puedo participar. Ah, good. Thank you. María René. Present. Good. Evelyn. Present. ¿Puede participar, Evelyn? Sí, ahora sí. Yes. Excelentoso. William. Present. Thank you. And Erenia. Present. Okie dokie. Good. Now, pay attention in this because it's very difficult, right? Remember I said that the, in the question we say, uh, for example, where do you live, right? Notice that is one, two, three, and four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we have four elements, right? 
But in this question, look. Who visits your uncle? How many do you have? One, two, three, right? Uh-huh. What happened here? Boy, besides this, who visits? Uh, even you can say like this. Look, only two elements. Who cries? ¿Quién llora? Who cries? Only two? Is that possible? With information question? And you say, hey, pero el teacher no dijo que eran cuatro. ¿Qué pasa aquí? So, pay attention. Pay attention, class. Okay. When I use question with who, right, I copy the subject, who, and visits the verb. So, who visits your uncle? And ¿Quién es el que visita a tu tío? ¿Quién es esa persona? Yo no sé quién es el que visita a tu tío. ¿Quién realiza esa visitada? My father. So, in this case, my father is the subject. ¿Quién es el que realiza la acción? ¿Quién es el que está visitando? My father. Él es el visitador. Right? Good. Ahora vamos a ver cómo es la cosa con cuando ya le ponemos el auxiliar. Who does your father visit in la unión? My father visit my uncle. Ok, en este caso no estoy preguntando quién es el que visita, sino quién es el visitado. ¿Quién es el visitado? My uncle. Right. So in this case, in the first one, who who is the subject? Excuse me. In the second one, who is the object? Right? So who is the subject? And in the other one, who is the object? The object, right? So the question is, in the first one is, ¿Quién es el que hace la acción, right? Mm -hmm. And the second one is, ¿Quién es el que recibe la acción? Okay? Good. Now, what are the characteristics of who when it's a subject? It's simple. Who, no auxiliary, and the verb has an extra S. Look. The verb has an extra S. Visits. Right? No visit. Visits. Right? Visit. And in, this, in the second one, when who is the the object, right? We have W is word. Vamos a cambiarle aquí el color. Este verdecito lo vamos a poner. Who is, right? The information question word, does is the auxiliary. Your father is the subject, and this is, is the verb, right? So, we have four elements. La segunda pregunta tiene los cuatro elementos de que hemos estado estudiando, ¿no? Pero la primera como que está de rebelde, ¿no? Está diferente. Okay. Is that possible in English? Yes, it's possible, right? But, notice that who is the subject and who in the other one is the object the receiver in the first one who is the producer of the action the producer in the other one who does your father visit is the receiver right okay but what is the difference veamos que aquí en la primera no aparece un sujeto no, no hay nadie ahí verdad solo who 
Entonces, eso es lo, precisamente lo que estoy preguntando. ¿Quién es esa persona? ¿Quién es el que hace la acción? Y en la otra, miren, aparece un sujeto aquí. Aparece un fulano, de your father. ¿Quién es el sujeto? En este contexto, es your father es el sujeto, ¿sí? ¿Y quién es el que recibe la visita de your father? El tío. My uncle. ¿Ok? Another example. Vamos a poner otro ejemplo aquí para que me entiendan. Ok, who takes eh, Evelyn, vamos a poner Evelyn, Evelyn home. ¿Quién lleva a Evelyn a casita? Who takes Evelyn home? Eh, vamos a decir que, ¿qué le ponemos? Un Uber, un taxi, un taxi, vamos a poner, ok. Eh, good. Who takes Evelyn home? Who does the taxi stay home? Okay. Who does the taxi stay home? Now, in the first one, who is the subject? And then, I don't know that. Por eso pregunto, ¿Quién es el que lleva a Evelyn? Right? And in the second one, who is the object? En este caso, who está representando a Evelyn, ¿no? So, ¿Quién es llevado por el taxi a casa? Who does the taxi take home, right? ¿A quién lleva el taxi? ¿Quién es el objeto de la acción? Evelyn, right? You see? Good. So in the first one, who is the subject? And in the second one, who is the object? En la primera, who es el sujeto, el que hace la acción. Y en la segunda es el objeto. Vamos a ver las características. Don't use do or does with who if the question is about the subject, right? Si la pregunta es acerca del sujeto, no vamos a usar ni do ni das. No. Always use the third person singular con form to ask question with who. Siempre que hagamos preguntas con who como sujeto, el verbo llevar una S. ¿Ok? Example. Who does live here? And incorrect. Who live here? And incorrect. Who lives? You know? We have the extra S, right? Lives. That is the correct, right? Cling. Okay. Any question? Questions? Do you understand the difference when who is the subject and when who is the object? No question, teacher. No question? Good. Okay, let's continue, right? All right. Let me see. Someone is knocking at the door. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Okay, sorry for the interruption now. No question, right? Good. Now, sure no questions? Seguro que no hay preguntas, chicos? Pueden preguntar lo que quieran. Si no entienden nada, pues díganme. Vamos a hacerlo de nuevo. Si entienden un poquito, pues también. <laughs> en el caso de, de cuando dice who lives here, este... Si fuera otro verbo, se le agrega ese. Yes, cualquier verbo. Ah, 
Who eats here? ¿Quién come aquí? Who eats here? ¿Quién corre aquí? Who runs here? Eh, who cooks pupusas in your house? ¿Quién es el que cocina las pupusas en su casa? <laughs> ok. Who cooks? Right? Diferente es que yo diga um, ¿A quién Jessica Carolina le hace las pupusas? <laughs> ok. Ahí sí, entonces ahí sí uso el, el, el das, ¿sí? ¿Ok? Porque es alguien en su casa quien usted, bueno, perdón el ejemplo, Jessica Carolina, no sé si, si usted cocina pupusas en casa, pero sí, sí, va. Entonces, a, a la persona que usted le cocina es el objeto, ¿sí? De la acción. Entonces, ahí sí usamos do and das. Pero si solo pregunto, ¿quién es el que cocina? ¿Quién es el que hace las pupusas? Who cooks pupusas? Y ellos dicen, ah, Jessica, ¿verdad? Jessica es la, la que hace la acción. Entonces, siempre se le va a agregar una S al verbo. ¿Ok? Good. Thank you for the question. Now, let's continue. Do and does. Uh, what time is it? Vamos a ver, porque tenemos algunos hairs. Oh, yes, we have time, yes. Do or does, right? But we're going to make it with... Lo vamos a hacer así nada más de... Verbal, right? Okay. Complete with do or does. Do or does, right? Y luego vamos a analizar si el who es el sujeto o es el objeto, right? Good. Now, who takes out the garbage in your, in your house? Volunteers, please. My father do or my father does? My father does. My father does. Correct. Who makes dinner? My mother do or my mother does? My mother does. My mother does. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come on. Who washes the dishes in your family? I do. I, I do. do. Who does the laundry in your house? My sister does. Does, does or do? Sisters is plural. Sisters. Like you say, they. Right? My sister do. My sisters do, right? Mm -hmm. Who watches TV after dinner? My grandfather? Yes. 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 Good. Who takes a shower in the morning? Everybody do. Everybody do or everybody does? What do you think, class? Everybody, teacher, what what the meaning? Todos. Cualquiera o todos? Todos. It's like the, yogo, uh, like the yogo pepito, right? Como el chiste de pepito. It's plural, entonces. It's plural, but it's representing one. Okay, Just everybody does. Everybody does, right. Okay. Uh, these are, you know, pronouns, son pronombres. And then we have some more. Aquí tenemos algunos. Anybody. Somebody. Everybody. Something. Anything? Uh, somewhere? Etc. Etc. Right? Nothing. Also, nothing. Right? So, in this case, they are representing a third person singular. Todos estos pronombres. Right, representan tercera persona singular. Por lo tanto, vamos a usar das. Right? Okay. And someone. Someone. Mm -hmm. Someone. Okay, that's it. Oh. It's another example, right? Good. Someone. Someone. Anyone. Mm -hmm. Someone. Anyone. Yes, correct. Thank you. Right? Now, class. 
class. Uh, these are third person singular, right? Now, let me see. That's it. Now, the question is, who, in number one, who is the subject or the object? Object. The object. Okay. In this case, if who is the sub, the object, sorry, who is the subject? Si who es el objeto, el que recibe la acción, ¿quién sería el sujeto en la número uno? Father? Mm. Garbage. The garbage. <laughs> Ajá, pero el, el, es el objeto. Who takes out the garbage? Mm, no. La casa. Who takes out the garbage? Teacher. No. I think. No subject. subject. Ajá. I mean, in this case, como no hay otro sujeto, el único sujeto en este caso es who. O sea, tenemos que preguntarnos cuando uh, queremos averiguar cuál es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Es el que realiza la acción, ¿sí? En este caso, el que realiza la acción es my father. Él es el sujeto, my father. Pero en la pregunta no aparece my father, porque no sabemos. Precisamente por eso estamos preguntando, ¿verdad? Si no, ¿para qué preguntar si ya sabemos, verdad? Que es el papá el que saca la basura. ¿Sí? Como siempre, el papá es el que más trabaja en casa, ¿no? La mamá. Ah, no, no, no. Excuse me. No, it's, it's not true. Ok. So, en este caso, who, entonces, sería el sujeto. Estamos preguntando sobre el que hace la acción. Estamos preguntando esa persona que saca la basura. Eso estoy preguntando. Por lo tanto, who sería el sujeto, the subject, right? Good. Ah, uh, Vamos a ver otro ejemplo, porque la basura no puede ser, no puede hacer nada, ¿vale? es un objeto que no existe, pero podemos poner who takes, vamos a ver, who takes María, right? María uh, to the park. ¿Quién lleva a María al, al parque, right? And then in the other would, would be who does eh, Pedro? Vamos haciéndole honor a Heidi aquí, ¿verdad? Who does Pedro take to the park? ¿Sí? Ok, veamos. En este caso, preguntémonos ¿Quién es who? Si es el sujeto o el objeto. Es el sujeto porque estamos preguntando quién es esa persona que realiza el llevar a María. ¿Sí? ¿Quién es el que lleva a María? Ok, en este caso no usamos ni el do ni el das y le agregamos la s al verbo. Pero si yo digo que Pedro, Pedro en este caso el que hace la acción, entonces, uno sería el sujeto. El sujeto sería Pedro. Y Ju sería el que recibe la acción. Es la persona que Pedro lleva al parque. Que ya sabemos todos que es María, pero, ¿verdad? Eh, como estoy preguntando, es porque no sé que es María. Entonces, ¿ok? No lo sé. No, no sé quién es. En la uno no sé quién es el sujeto y en la dos no sé quién es el objeto, ¿ok? Good. Una más. Who makes dinner? Who makes dinner? Who is a subject or an object? It's a subject. It's a subject. Very good. Who washes the dishes? Subject or object? Subject. Who does the laundry? Subject or object? Object. 
No, sorry. Is subject. Todas son subject, right? Ok. Eh, vaya, si les cuesta entenderlo gramaticalmente, vamos a entenderlo prácticamente, ¿sí? Para que no se me confundan, ¿sí? Cuando who es el sujeto, el verbo lleva una S, ¿sí? Pero vamos a hacer una oración donde who es el objeto, ¿sí? Um, who does Elsa give the money, right? ¿A quién le da el pisto? Es solo un ejemplo, nada, Elsa. No voy a pensar mal. Ok. ¿A quién le da Elsa el dinero? Bueno, supongamos que ella va al supermercado, entonces le da el dinero a la cajera, ¿no? Ok. Muy bien. Entonces, aquí, cuando el who es un objeto, hay alguien más aquí, miren, hay una persona, otro que está ahí, cualquiera, en este caso es Elsa, ¿quién está realizando la acción? ¿Sí? ¿Quién es el que da el dinero? ¿Who o Elsa? Elsa. El, Elsa es la que está dando el dinero, por lo tanto, Elsa es el sujeto. ¿Y a quién se lo da? Bueno, esa es la pregunta que estamos haciendo. Eso es lo que quiero averiguar, ¿verdad? Por lo tanto, en este caso, who es el que recibe el dinero de Elsa. ¿Sí? Teacher. Yes. Yo siento que una forma fácil de entenderlo, tal vez en español, es cuando traducimos, cuando decimos quién, entonces who es el sujeto. Ajá. Y cuando decimos a quién, a quién, correcto. Nice, correct. Thank you, Elsa. Ok. Congratulations. That's it. ¿Quién es el que hace y a quién le hacen, no? <ríe> ok. ¿Quién es el que da el pisto y quién es el que, a quién se lo dan? ¿Sí? ¿Understand? Hoy sí queda un poquito más claro. Es un poco difícil porque como está en inglés, pues, se complica. Pero ya lo como dice Elsa, ¿verdad? ¿Quién y a quién? Uh -huh. Ok. Good. Now, let's make... I guess this is the last one. Creo que este es el último ejercicio. Vamos a ver. Ah, no, no. There is another one. Sorry. Personal question, right? Personal question. What time do you get up on weekdays? I will make a game. I will take a student at random. Al azar, right? In the list. Y el sorteado es... ¡Tarán! Ada. Hello, Ada. So, Ada, what time do you... Hello, hello. What time do you get up on weekdays? Levantarse. What time? What time? O sea, es como... ¿A qué hora me levanto o algo yes, así? Sí, yes, yes. Uh -huh. eh, I? I, I, you. I get? No. I get, no, espérame, espérame. I uh -huh. get, I, do you? I was, no. I get, I get do up. you? I get up? Uh, I get up, do you? What? No, no, no. no. You say what time? Ah, sí, sí. What time? Uh -huh. I get. Get, um, get at. At. For at. For. A.M. A.M. Uh -huh. It's true. A esa hora se levanta. Yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Permítame. Ok. 
Good. Next one. Next big. I'm sorry. Next student. Jose Atilio. Okay, Atilio. Come on. Number two. Where do you eat lunch? Where do you eat lunch? Where I eat lunch in a restaurant, Flower Canel. Oh, excuse me. I eat lunch in Clavo y Canela. Delicious breakfast. Me fascina los desayunos ahí. Clavo y Canela. I eat lo lunch. <laughs> Sorry. Lunch. I eat lunch in Clavo y Canela. Nice. José Atilio. Now, next one, right? <clears throat> Maria Rene. Rene, please. What do you do on weekends? I go to the park. Ajá, uh -huh, I go to the park. Cuscatlán Park? No. It's a nice park. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, I go to the park. Thank you, Maria René. Good. The next big, sorry, the next student, I mean. Mm -hmm. It's Estenia, right? No, pero Estenia no puede participar. Vamos a ver. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Where do yes. you go shopping? Where do you go shopping? I... Sorry, teacher. La pregunta es si me gusta ir. No, no, no. no. Where? Where is a place? Remember? A lugar. Where? Uh, it's a place. It's a place. Uh -huh. Yes. I... For example, number two, Jose Tilio, where do you eat lunch? I eat lunch in Clavo y Canela. Clavo Canela is a, is a place, right? So where do you go shopping, Ingrid? I go to... I go to... To the Simán. Oh, excuse me. Excelentoso. Good, good uh, store, right? It's a good store, Simán. Nice. The teacher say, uh, teacher got shopping to Baje Mese, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Now, what books or magazines do you read? Let me see. Delia, what books or magazines do you read, Delia? I read uh, the Bible. Oh, nice. <laughs> the book of the books. The Bible. Nice. Number six, what TV programs do you watch? Jessica Carolina. What TV programs do you watch? Caso Cerrado? No lo sé, Rick. I don't know, teacher. You, you don't watch TV programs? No. Ah, oh, okay. Well, uh, do you like what what kind of program? Let me see. Do you like news, for example? ¿Le gustan las noticias? Pongámoslo ahí como como sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. The news. Uh -huh. Le vamos a poner aquí que vea las noticias, ¿verdad? Okay. Vamos a ver. Moisés, 
turbio. <risa> okay. Con el pronóstico, el tiempo. No, no pronosticó el temblor. De... Nos dio el gran susto, ¿va? porque no nos dijo nada. Llamó a mi perrito, estaba más atento y me avisó. Ok, number seven. Why do you study English? Good question, excellent question. And René Alexi. Why do you study English? Remember, René Alexi, that you have to start making the with the word because, right? Toda pregunta con why se contesta con because. Because. Um... Okay, because. Si no puede, me lo dice en español y lo, lo hacemos juntos. Para buscar un buen trabajo. Ah, ok. Because I want. I want. Yo quiero. I want. To get. Quiero obtener. Quiero lograr. Ajá. Buen trabajo o buen estadio económico. Ok. A good job. I want to get a good job. A good job. Un buen trabajo, right? Algo sencillito como ministro o embajador, algo así, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Ya eso llevo. <laughs> oh, come on. Bueno, algún día, ¿verdad? Eso es siempre. O como, como un eh, gerente de banco. Ah, es... Ok. Nobody knows, René Alexi. Nunca sabe el futuro uno. Puede ser que sí. Yo siempre tuve el sueño de viajar y lo logré. ¿verdad? Así que todos podemos, right Siempre tuve el sueño de de lograr un buen sueldo y no lo... <risa> ok. No problem. Lo importante no, es que aprendamos. No, no, Ajá. Elsa. Yo pensé que iba a decir que tuvo un sueño y lo soñé. Pensé que iba a decir. El viaje lo <risa> Ok. Ajá, Elsa. Where did you travel, teacher? Ah, to United States, to Cuba, to eh, París. Rome, Italy, right? Florence, Florencia, etc., etc., right? It's many places. Congratulations. No, come on. It was a big experience, right? Uh, a great experience. So if you have the opportunity to travel, do it, do it. Guatemala, Mexico, Honduras, sure. any country, yes? Or Europe. Um, a lot of people think it's very expensive, but it's possible, right? Uh -huh, Jose Tilio? Okay. Exactly, and, and one of the question is, Paris is very expensive? Oh, yes, yes, it's very expensive, right? And it's dangerous, too. There are many, uh, uh, how do you say, um, I forgot the word, estafadores, right? I don't know what, yeah, me voy a acordar, estafadores. There are many people that are on the street, they, they try to, And they say, le vendo este, esta chaqueta. In English, okay, they say, but they speak in English, right? And, and, and then you say, oh, yes. And then when you got the, this, they go to the police, they say, mire, él me la robó. Oh, okay. So that, that is very dangerous. But it's beautiful, of course. The, the Eiffel Tower. Uh, I went to the, to the Notre Dame right, de el paseo, el, el arco del triunfo, the arc of the triumph, right, that, and the Eliseos that comes, el campo de los Eliseos, come on, beautiful, beautiful, right, beautiful place. So my recommendation is, come on, learn English and visit other country, right? Now, how do you relax in the evening? The question goes to Ingrid, again, Yes, Ingrid, please. How do you relax? Ah, relax in the evenings, Ingrid. Yes. How? Como? Como uh, se uh -huh. I. I go to watch TV. 
I watch TV. Good. It's a good way. I watch TV, right? Choose off. Choose off. Quitarse los zapatos, right? In the sofa. Uh, a coffee, semita here. <laughs> and then watch TV, right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> The, the semita okay. is coffee and semita, yeah. Thank you very much, right? Okay, class, congratulations. Now we're going to see another material. Okay, we finished, right? Now I will share another material, right? Let me see. <gasps> Sorry. Uh, no encuentro ah uh, here right no no es que tenía un libro abierto y no lo veo okay sorry give me a, a second please regáleme unos segunditos que voy a voy a cerrar algunas okay algunas ventanas que tengo abierto aquí Permítame, ok. Que tengo muchas ventanas abiertas. Ok, aquí está ya. Sorry, sorry. Ah, here, right? Aquí está el pin. Yes. Ok, good. Now, here we have the conversation. Please listen. Page 51, exercise 3. Conversation. He works in a hotel. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Oh, come on, right? He's the manager. That's it, right? Uh, he works in a hotel, a front desk. He's the person who helps the people, right? And then, he, that, how does he like it? Uh, lo odia el trabajo porque el... Okay? El, el, el jefe es muy... Muy mal jefe, right? Mm -hmm. And then the, Angela says, okay, my brother works. También ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué es lo que hace? Ah, oh, él es el manager. <laughs> él es el que molesta a tu hermano, says, right? Okay, now, listen again and repeat, please. Just give me a second. Ah, sorry. Perdón, voy a tener que dejar de compartir otra vez. No me abre una función acá. Hoy sí, creo que ya. Ok, here, right? Vamos a darle un poquito más de grande aquí. Ok, now. Listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Ok. L. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. 
That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay, very good. Now, notice that here, for example, we have this question. Where does your brother work? Right? Where? Oh, sorry. In this case, let me see. Um, sorry, quiero encontrar el lapicito aquí para escribir. Okay, here, right? So, where? Oh, sorry. Había un lapicito aquí para escribir, no, no lo encuentro. Ah, aquí está. Creo que este, vamos a ver. Where is the the information question word, right? Does is the auxiliary, right? And your brother, your brother is the subject. And work is the verb, right? Work is the verb. Okay. Enterado, Brenda Lee, no hay problema. See you tomorrow. Good. Also here, we have another information question. Right. What does he do? Let me see. Si hay otra, quiero ver. Ah, what, what hotel does he work for? Again, look. We have uh, information question word. What, right? And then hotel is a complement only, right? Does is the auxiliary. Does is the auxiliary. He is the subject. And work is the verb, right? So here we have the four parts, right? What? Cling. One, right? Does cling two. He cling three. And finally, do four, right? Okay, understand? Good. Now we're going to see an exercise, right? And listen. Listen, please. Simple present WH question. Listen. Page 52, exercise 4. Grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay, so question one, where? Where do you, where does he, where do they? You, he, and they, right? So you say in a hospital, in a hotel, in a store, right? In el mercadito, mercadito Merliot. <laughs> okay, so in a, in a garage, in a company, in eh, Serpas y López, in General Depot, et cetera, et cetera, right? Where? What do you do? I'm a doctor. He's a manager, they're cashiers. 
How do you like it? ¿Te gusta? Yes. I really like it. Uh, how does he like it? It's okay. And how do they like it? They hate it. Lo odian. Me cae mal el trabajo, right? Okay. So this is the examples of information question. Let's go to the last exercise, right? Aquí terminamos con este ejercicio, chicos. David. Ajá, uh -huh, David. What happened with David? Look at this. Is he happy? No, right? So where does David work? He works, he works in a house or in an office? In an office. How does he like it? He hates it. Yes, he hates it. Se ve que no le gusta, ¿verdad? Ok, Laura, where does Laura work? She works in a school. She works in a school. How does she like it? She love, love, love it. Love it. Loves it. She loves it, right? Good. Brian and Jessica, where do they work? In a store or in a restaurant? It, in a store. They, they work, work in, in a, a store. store. They work in a store. How do they like it? Uh, they like it. They like it. And I forgot one question. Se me olvidó una pregunta. What does David do? It's a count on finance. Financial account or receptionist. Financial account. Could be receptionist. Look. Okay. I have okay. telephone, right? Mm -hmm. What does Laura do? A teacher. She's a teacher. What do Brian and Jessica do? Salesperson. Salespeople mm -hmm. or vendors, if you want to say vendor, right? Okay, class. Thank you very much. Uh, Vamos a estar en la entrevista con eh, Brenda. ¿Puede Brenda quedarse 10 minutos extras? Yes. Yes, excelente uso. Ok. So, thank you everybody. Now, the attendance. Mm, Elsa. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Carolina. Present. Good night. Good night. Jessica Araceli. Present. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Estenia. See you tomorrow. See you. Present. See you tomorrow. See you. Take care. Eh, Freddy. Present. Take care. Kenya. Present. Have a good night. Gracias, María. Present. Good night. See you, see you tomorrow. Delia. Present. Good night. God bless you. Ada. Thank you. Present. Bye bye, Ada. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Jonathan. Present. Good night, teacher. Okay. See you. Rene Alexi. Present, teacher. Good Thank night. You. Good night. Good night. Eh, Brenda. Present. Ok, no se me voy a ir, bueno. Eh, Ingrid. Jessica Pérez. Brenda Lee. Ok. See you tomorrow. José Atilio. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. María René. Present. Good night. Ok, see you. Evelyn. Present, good night. Okay, good night. William? Good night. Thank you. Irenia? Present. Okay, very good. Nice. See you tomorrow, Irenia. Bye-bye. Now, hello, Brenda. How are you? Hello. Fine. You're good? Fine. Okay. How do you like the class? ¿Qué tal le ha parecido la clase? Um, 
puedo hablar español. Yeah, yeah, you can. No, it, it's up to you. If you want English, that's okay. Spanish, yeah, no problem. Ok, ok. Pues me gusta, me gusta. Hay unas cosas que a veces me quedo con duda, pero, pero quizás con las explicaciones van, van, van ya y, y aclarándose. Uh -huh. Y en la sí. plataforma, de platform, ¿cómo le he ido? Pues hasta el momento eh, voy avanzada. Creo que la, esta semana ya la, ya la terminé. Ah, ok, excelente, nice. Uh -huh. ¿Y le cuestan los ejercicios o cree que son fáciles? Ahorita lo que sí me está costando es como lo de tú y lo de das. Ah, ok. Este, ajá, le, porque... Le gustaría que viéramos ejemplos ahorita y usted me dice, ajá. esto es lo que no entiendo, esto, ¿sí? Sí. Ok, vamos sí. a ver, vamos a poner una pizarrita aquí entonces. Ok. Básicamente el do y el das no existen en español, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Por eso es que a nosotros nos cuesta un poco entenderlo. Eh, lo que nosotros hacemos, Brenda, es que nosotros cambiamos el verbo, lo modificamos de acuerdo a cómo, cómo es el, el sujeto. Si digo, por ejemplo, eh, yo manejo, tú manejas, ellos manejan, ya entonces vamos transformando el verbo. Pero en inglés el verbo es estático y lo que ellos hacen para que nosotros sepamos eh, tanto el número como el tiempo, como todo, lo que tenga que ver con el verbo, ellos utilizan auxiliares. Y hay en presente, pasado, auxiliar, mire, do, does, did. También está el will, el should, el have, el had. Un montón, ¿verdad? Hay un montón de auxiliares. Entonces, cada auxiliar tiene una función dentro de, del inglés, ¿verdad? Unos sirven para el presente, otros para el pasado. Otros para el presente perfecto, etcétera, etcétera. Y cuando nosotros hablamos de actividades diarias, rutinas o hábitos, ¿sí? Entonces vamos a usar el presente simple. Y dentro del presente simple en, tenemos los dos auxiliares, que son el do y el das. Que al final significan lo mismo, Brenda. Los dos significan lo mismo, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Solo que el, el do se usa con el I, con el we, con el you, singular y plural, por cierto, y con el they. ¿Sí? Pero significa lo mismo. Uh -huh. Y el da se usa con she, se usa con he, y se usa con it. ¿Ok? Y además okay. de eso, el do se usa con todos los plurales, mire, plural. Si hablo de mis papás, si hablo de mis amigos, si hablo de manzanas, siempre va el do. Pero el das es para eh, singular. Mi hermano, mi primo. Eh, mi casa, mi perrito, <ríe> todos son singulares y vamos a usar el das, ¿sí? Vale. Sí. Luego, luego, dentro del presente simple, en las oraciones afirmativas, no usamos el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, les digo, I, I eat breakfast. Mire, no necesito el auxiliar. ¿Ven? ¿Eh? es necesario. Ok, pero ya en la negativa, ahí sí. Y entonces, siguiendo esta lógica del do con el I, we, you, they, y todos los plurales, plurales, y does, with he, she, it, y todos los singulares, entonces, de acuerdo a esa tablita que está ahí, entonces vamos a responder. Pongamos el they, va. They. They do not. Mire. Y luego unimos este do not, don't. Yes. They don't eat breakfast. Qué malo que no desayunan, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. okay. Y si es tercera persona, he, she, it, o alguien singular, pongamos mi hermano, ¿verdad? Mi hermano, my brother. 
¿Cuántas personas son mi hermano? Uno. Uno, entonces vamos a das. Porque das. todos los singulares, das. Ajá. El not contractado doesn't eat breakfast. ¿Sí? Ok. Además, cuando se usa el do y el das, en preguntas también. Questions. Mm -hmm. For example, do you live in Cujucuyo? Question mark at the end, right? Do you live in Cujucuyo? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Sí, yo vivo en Cucuyo o oh, no, yo no, no vivo en Cucuyo, ¿ok? Entonces, resumiendo, el do y el da solo usamos, lo usamos en, en negativo y en preguntas, ¿sí? Y cuando usamos do, con estos sujetos específicos y con los plurales, y el das, con estos sujetos específicos, que es tercera persona singular, por cierto, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Se acuerda de la primera, segunda y tercera persona, Brenda? Sí, sí, sí sería. Sí, ah, tercera ajá, persona sería singular. Eso, los que, ajá, los que se les agregan los verbos, la S al final, ¿verdad? Correcto, sí, es de quién hablamos, ¿va? pero ese, esa, ese que hablamos es singular, no es plural. Ajá. Okay. Sí, esos son. Entonces, en el caso de todos los singulares, he, she, any, todas las terceras personas singulares, vamos a usar el das. Y el de ahí, das. y todos los demás el do, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. ¿Ok? Sí, sí. Okay. sí, ya me quedó más, más claro. Ajá. Un poquito más claro, muy bien. Y las recomendaciones de siempre que le hago a todos los alumnos es, eh, Brenda, vea películas en inglés, ¿sí? o videos, o programas en inglés. La recomendación es que sean muñequitos. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos en básico, ¿verdad? Así que necesitamos que el que habla lo hable más sencillo y más lento. Uh -huh. Entonces los muñequitos sí. se entiende. Pero si aún así no lo entiende, Brenda, póngale los subtítulos. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna aplicación? ¿Un Netflix o Disney o HBO? Netflix. Ah, oh, ahí está. Ahí tiene para ver películas de muñequitos. Uh -huh. sí. Si quiere entenderlo bien, les pone el, los subtítulos, oiga, para entender. Okay. Recomendación dos. Uh -huh. Canciones. Bueno, yo como estoy, ya estoy viejito, pues me gustan las canciones viejitas, así que uh -huh. me fascina ver qué quiere decir la letra. Sí. sí. Y pongo la letra. Si tiene Spotify o YouTube. Y aparecen las letras, entonces ahí puede practicar, ¿sí? Sí. Si, si usted se pusiera la meta, mire, Brenda, de una película a la semana y una canción a la semana, no, hombre, ¿para qué le cuento? En cuatro meses ya, sí, ve. ¿Verdad? <risa> no va a hablar, el, 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 algunas academias prometen en cuatro meses usted aprende a hablar, no, no, uh -huh. pero, pero eh, va a mejorar enormemente si usted hiciera eso. Todo es cuestión de disciplina. Y estar en contacto sí. con el inglés. Entre más esté en contacto usted con el inglés, más rápido va a aprender. Porque el inglés no es cuestión de sí. como las matemáticas, que cuesta mucho, ¿verdad? O, o la uh -huh. química, o la ciencia. No, el inglés simplemente es de estar en contacto. Con, con música, con películas, eh, viendo sitios en internet, leyendo libros en inglés, etcétera, etcétera. Eso le va a ayudar muchísimo. Y para terminar, una pregunta más, Brenda. ¿Los videos que yo mando a diario los ve usted? No los logro ver. De ah, hecho, no los logro ver. Ajá, no. por el trabajo. Oh, y ya vengo aquí. Sí, ya eh, me pasada a las 7, solo vengo a cenar y me conecto rápido. Entonces, oh, sí. Y no sé, sí, ahí sí, no los logro ver. Bueno, tal vez alguna vez en el fin de semana, por lo menos. Sí, sí, los fines de semana sí logro. Medio estar sí, chequeando lo, lo le, que más. Los viernes les mando un libro. Es súper largo ese video, pero... <ríe> Tal vez usted puede, por lo menos la entrada, unos cinco o diez minutos, sí. tal vez, para que practique la lectura también en inglés. La lectura, sí. Sí, sí. Bueno, Brenda, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta. ¿Any other question? 
No, me quedó bueno. todo claro con la explicación, sí, ya, ya okay. comprendí mejor. Ok, Brenda, it's a pleasure. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have an excellent night, right? Bye bye. Bueno, bye. Good night. Good night.